What's up guys, my name is Charlie and in this video I wanted to share a few thoughts and tips I learned when vinyl wrapping my car as a total beginner. Full disclaimer, I am not a professional, I don't do this for a living. I've actually never vinyl wrapped a car before, but after hours of research and days of wrapping, learned quite a lot that may help you guys out if you decide to take on this project yourself. Check out the description below for a list of everything I talk about in this video as well as links to all the tools and materials I talk about to help get you started. And at the end of the video I'm going to break it down and show you guys exactly what all this cost me. But first off, what is vinyl wrap? Well, it's basically a big sticker that you can use to create designs or change the whole color of your car like I did. It's a lot cheaper than paint. It's great quality and as a bonus it acts as a protective layer over your original paint. All while being completely harmless and totally removable if you ever decide you don't want to keep it anymore. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Step number one, planning. Probably the most overlooked, easiest step that can save you so much time in the future. And the first step in that is getting your car as clean as possible. You see, anything that you leave on the paint is gonna show through in the vinyl at the end and you don't want that. You also wanna pick a clean environment. You see, if you do your car outside, you're gonna get all kinds of debris under it, which is what you're trying to avoid. I used my garage, I put it up on jack stands and I left it there because I knew it would minimize the contaminants under the surface. Which means you also wanna leave enough time for you to finish it. It's not something you can knock out in an afternoon unless you're great at it, which as a beginner, we both know that we're not. I decided to do my car through the winter, which means I had as much time as I needed. You also wanna make sure you pick the right vinyl brand for you, which is where doing a lot of research really helps. I used a ton of YouTube content to learn how to do this and learned a whole lot about the different brands out there and what they all have to offer. Great channel to use as a reference is CK Raps. He's a professional up in Canada and I would not have even tackled this project if it weren't for his hours of really, really helpful videos. The next thing you wanna plan for is the amount of vinyl you have. See, that's something that I think a lot of people overlook. Or you'll get on a forum and you'll see, I used blank amount of vinyl. I used this much amount of vinyl. Well, each car is different. So you really wanna go out there and do that work yourself. You wanna make sure you order enough vinyl. And the way I did it was I went out and measured each panel of the car to get an idea of the total length of vinyl that you need. Now this saves a whole lot of time in the long run in case you run out and you have to wait. If something's back ordered or out of stock, you won't be able to get it. And this was the first time I had vinyl wrapped anything. So I ordered more than I needed so that I could go through and if I messed up the panel, I had enough to go back and do it again. This leads to tip number two, which is practice. One of the reasons I ordered extra vinyl was so that I had vinyl to work with. I would never used the material before, so it really helped me out to be able to get it in your hands and use it. You really want to get familiar with the material before you cut big sheets and potentially ruin whole sections if you don't know how to work with it. A great place to start with this are the big flat sections on your car. They typically tend to be the easiest to use, so if you can get comfortable laying small sections on flat spots, you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to be like for the easier spots. And for the more difficult spots, I really suggest cutting small pieces and testing how you're going to approach each little piece. See, on my car, I had a few vents and air ducts that required a lot of heating, stretching, and cutting into. So to practice those before I did the entire panel, I used a small section of vinyl to practice my technique and how I was going to do that when I laid the full piece. Which leads me nicely into step three, which is to make sure that you use enough heat. See, at the beginning, I was under the impression that you didn't want to use heat as little as possible. It turned out with the brand of vinyl I used, it didn't like to stretch very much when cold. So heating it up was a necessity to get into a lot of the parts and to conform to a lot of the panels. You also want to make sure that you post heat the sections that you stretch a lot. You see the vinyl wants to return back to its normal shape, which is one of its characteristics that's nice to get out imperfections. But after you stretch into a spot that you want it to stay, post heating it past a certain temperature will reset the memory so that it doesn't ever want to lift off. And to do this correctly, you need the proper tools 
Which leads me to tip number four, which is invest in the right tools. It saves a ton of money in frustration later on and makes the job much easier. A few of the tools you'll need are a squeegee, vinyl gloves, a thermal gun, 3M tape, painter's tape, and most importantly, a good heat gun. Now all of this is not very expensive. You can get it all through Amazon for really cheap. But the most expensive part of all this was time, which leads me to my last final tip is get a friend to help. I had a friend come help because as a beginner, I couldn't do some of the sections myself and I just needed a second set of hands. It helps that I had a friend who was also interested in vinyl wrapping, so it served as a great learning experience for both of us. We were able to just throw on some music and knock it out, which sets me up nicely for one last bonus tip, and that is make sure you have fun with it. It was a blast to do. I had a great time spending time with my friends, and at the end of the day, I had a cool color on my car. It's winter time here where I'm at, so I couldn't get the cars out much anyways. So it's been a great fun project to come in on the evenings when I can't get out and do anything else. Now, all that said and done, this total project cost me right at $500. That includes the three rolls of vinyl, the temp gun, the heat gun, the squeegees, the vinyl wrap gloves, the knifeless tape, and the painter's tape all together. I went with Vivid's Automotive Plus vinyl film, and I bought mine over Black Friday of last year at a decent discount. So if you keep an eye on their website, they seem to run discounts from time to time and you can save yourself some money. If you made it this far, I wanna thank you so much for sticking around. If you like this content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or want to learn more about something else you saw in the video, please leave that in the comments below. Until next time.